Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to see top flagship mobiles for gaming. In these devices, you can play games at high graphics and max FPS. These phones are quite powerful and can handle both CPU and GPU in test and games like Apex Legends, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty, FIFA 16, Pub Mobile, and so on. The basic requirements for a gaming smartphone remain the same. These include a powerful pro and high refresh rate, big battery capacities, so that you never run out of juice in your long gameplay sessions. Of course, fast charging is a plus. Also, a well integrated cooling system to take care of extensive usage is now a must have as well. Other important factors include low network latency for a lag free experience, the audio quality so you do not miss the fun, and high refresh rate displays. So before getting started, subscribe to our channel. And like, and share with your friends. Motorola Edge 30 Pro. The phone innards include Snapdragon 8 General 1, up to 12 GB LPDDR5 RAM, 256 GB of 3.1 storage, and a 5000 mAh battery with 68W fast charging support. The Android software is nearly stock with some proprietary treats. The display up front stretches 6.7 inches in size. It is a mold in nature with a full HD plus resolution, 10 bit colors, a central punch hole cutout, 144 Hz refresh rate, a 576 Hz touch sampling rate, and HDR10 plus support. The phone sports a 60 MP selfie shooter. Flip to the back and there you get a triple camera setup consisting of a 50 MP main sensor, 50 MP ultra wide sensor, and a 2 MP macro sensor. Realme has revealed its GT2 Pro phone will come powered by Snapdragon 8 General 1. As per specs, the handset will sport a 6.8-inch WQHD Plus flat old screen with a 120 Hz refresh rate. Inside, besides the chip, it is likely to ship with Android 12 based Realme A 3.0 software. It comes with up to 12 GB RAM, 256 GB UFS 3.1 storage, and 125 watts charging support. In the camera department, you could expect a triple camera setup including a 50 MP main sensor, a 50 MP ultra wide lens, and an 8 MP telephoto shooter. On the front, meanwhile, you could get a 32 MP selfie camera. The Poco F4 GT comes in two configurations. 8 GB RAM plus 128 GB ROM, and 12 GB RAM plus 256 GB ROM. Snapdragon General 1 processor. The 6.7 inch. 2400x1080 old display, it's sharp and vibrant enough. But the 800 nits of brightness is a bit lacking, and the refresh rate can only be either 60 Hz or 120 Hz, but it's got a touch sampling rate up to 480 Hz, and is covered by Gorilla Glass Vitis. The two shoulder buttons are called magnetic pop-up triggers, and by default they stay recessedly flip a switch. The buttons offer very clicky, bouncy feedback, and can be used outside of gaming for launching specific apps, or phone functions like a flashlight customizable in settings. The battery size, at 4700 mAh, for a gaming phone, but it can be charged at insanely fast 120 watts speeds. Iku has officially announced its Iku 9 Pro. With the Snapdragon 8 General 1, Iku the flagship phone offers top of the line innards, premium design, and an excellent 2K display. 
It's a 3D curved emolt screen that can do a 120 hex refresh rate. It running on Funtouch U. I with Android 12 base. Bundled 120 watts flash charger refills its 4500 ma battery in a 20 minutes. Newbie's Red Magic series have been particularly lucrative solutions due to their relatively lower price and powerful hardware. Not to mention their quirky active cooling system, which is usually associated only with PCs and laptops. The smartphone's cooling system has received a score of 31,279, which is the highest, and it has dedicated shoulder buttons and comes with 165 watts fast charging support and 4500 mAh battery capacity. It is a one color and an on two to score of 1,101,769. The smartphone will launch with Snapdragon 8 General 1 and 18 GB RAM. It will sport a 6.8 inch FHD plus old display and have a 64 MP main rear camera. It will run Android 12. Xiaomi 12 Pro 5 features a 6.73 inch WQHD plus 120 Hz AMOLED display. The LTPO2 panel allows adaptive refresh rate to as low as 1 Hz. The phone also gets a 480 Hz of touch sampling rate to provide a better gaming experience. The smartphone also comes with dual speakers by Harman Kardon, and supports Dolby Mos. The smartphone is powered by Snapdragon 8 General 1 chipset, and offers up to 12GB RAM, and 256GB internal storage. It runs on Android 12 based MIUI. Xiaomi 12 Pro 5G sports a triple rear camera setup that houses, a 50 megapixel Sony IMX 707 wide angle primary sensor, a 50 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. For selfies and video calls, the smartphone comes with a 32 megapixel front facing camera. The Xiaomi 12 Pro gets a 4600 mAh battery that supports 120 watts hypercharge technology. It supports 50 watts wireless fast charge as well. According to Xiaomi, the 12 Pro can be charged to 100% in 20 minutes under the boost mode. Under the standard mode, it will charge to 100% in 24 minutes. Xiaomi promises 3 years of Android updates and 4 years of security updates. If you're ready for some next level mobile gaming, the Asus ROG Phone 5S will blow you away. This device takes the already great Asus ROG Phone 5 and packs it with even more power. You're still getting a whopping 16 GB of RAM, but it now comes running on the Snapdragon 888 Plus chipset to boost its performance a little further. It's also loaded up with 256 GB of UFS 3.1 storage. We struggle to imagine a situation where that's not enough memory for mobile multitasking and storage for the biggest mobile game library. All that Braun is going to driving the 6.78 inch mode display at serious speeds. We're talking 144 Hz. While that's plenty of screen space to let you use the improved 360 Hz touch sample rate with the on screen controls and still see your games. You don't have to. This phone ends that can detect taps to simulate triggers, or even detect swipes. And the phone's motion sensors can be used to enable special gesture controls that will register phone movements. The Asus ROG Phone 5S may be marketed as a gaming phone, but you'll love it for streaming movies, or scrolling through TikTok, too, thanks to its solid stereo speakers and bright display. Choosing the right gaming phone is a little different than finding the best smartphone. With regular phones, you might be more interested in battery life, the cameras, 
and a plethora of other specs, but the best gaming phones are all about their screens and processors with everything else being less important. You also rarely read about the battery on a gaming phone, as most pack in some of the biggest smartphone batteries you'll find. With that in mind, we'll start with the processors. Generally, you're going to get a better gaming experience out of the latest and greatest processor that's on the market when you're shopping. At the moment, Android phones will find that in the form of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 General 1, which packs in a load of powerful processing cores and has strong graphics on board. That said, if you're on a budget, Qualcomm's highest tier chipsets tend to offer so much power you might not even take full advantage of it. So you shouldn't feel too shy about seeking out a phone with an earlier chipset like the Snapdragon 888 or 865. In terms of displays, you should pick out anything that's a step up from your average phone screen. Often, smartphones made for gaming will feature a display with a refresh rate greater than 60 Hz. 90 Hz is a good start for extra fluidity, but we're seeing the top gaming phones start to go to 120 Hz and beyond. Some displays are even offering variable refresh rates that can let you take advantage of power savings while you are not gaming. Faster touch on displays are also starting to take off, so it may be a spec to keep in mind when comparison shopping. With many gaming phones adding in shoulder buttons, it may not just be the screen you should look at when thinking about the gaming interface. That's everything you need to know about gaming phones for now. We'll be updating this list periodically, especially as even more brands are entering the foray with phones that are especially well suited to gaming. I hope this video guides to buy a right gaming smartphone. Subscribe to our channel and like this video. See you soon in another video.